So I'm a little intimidated, but there's no need to be. No. <laughs> as long as you take your time and you don't drink too much, we'll be all right, yeah? Sounds good to me. Should we crack on? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, I should probably pour myself one. Is yeah. That, is that I mean, right? it's, yeah. It's bad luck to drink okay. alone. Yeah, it's true. We're right in the, in the perfect spot in Edinburgh, uh, on the left-hand side of the hotel, you're right on the city centre, uh, the old town, and to the right-hand side you're uh, down in Leith, which is one of the uh, best modern uh, neighbourhoods in, in Edinburgh. And the glass house is a uh, blend between the, the old and the modern. The entrance used to be um, a Gothic church, it's about 170 years old. Uh, when you walk into the hotel, uh, inside is more modern, more contemporary. One of the the best things that we have in the hotel is the outdoor space. The rooftop garden in the glass house is the biggest garden space uh, in Edinburgh. Our guests can be walking in the Royal Mile, up and down, touring, going up to the Highlands, come back, and they find this nice and quiet spot right in the middle of the city. This is really something that differentiates us from, from many other properties in Edinburgh. Uh, on a day like today, having an afternoon tea out here is something spectacular. We're in the Snug Bar. Snug, like historically, was a part of old pubs where people would go in the corner and just enjoy each other's company. We're offering our version of that. Part of our story is whiskey. Whiskey is part of our, our DNA. It's like a rite of passage for Scottish people. The word itself is Gaelic. Yes, it is. Um, Uska Bay. That means water of life. We've got a fantastic whiskey collection here and we do some pretty special whiskey cocktails as well. How many whiskies do you have? Um, at the moment over 100, but the plan is to keep on growing that. We know that a lot of our guests come and, that, and that's what they want to experience. If you know very little about whiskey, you can come and, and our guys will, will, will give you the guided tour. They'll make sure you understand a bit more. But if you know your stuff as well, you should be able to come and get, get a pretty special experience and at least see something there, hopefully, that you've not tried before. So what are we going to do today? So I've picked uh, four of the main whisky producing regions. Try to kind of move up flavour profile. Uh, we were going to start with uh, Lowland, which is where we are in Edinburgh. We're then going to move to the Speyside region uh, and try the Balvenie Doublewood. That's the 17 year old we have. We have a Highland single malt to try. And finally, we'll move to the Islay here uh, and we'll try the Laphroaig 10 year old. And I've also got a, a pretty special 27 year old to try. It's one of the most distinct and unique distilleries in Scotland. This is the top of the... Really? This is the cream of the crop. This was a ski slope, it'd be a black diamond. Yeah, definitely. Um, I can't think of a, a better way to spend an afternoon finding out about the history of Scotland through the history of whiskey. Here's to you. Slanchima. Slanchima. We want our guests to enjoy the, the city the same as we do, and we encourage our, our staff to, you know, to let them know what do you do on your day off, uh, the places that you've been and you've been impressed. And we're never going to stop them to go from you know, touristy places like the castle or the, or the palace, the Royal Mile. But we'll always find that you know, uniqueness uh, because obviously the hotel is unique, staff is unique. We want our guests to have a unique experience as well.